to a special episode of Don't Boil It. Very special. Because guess who's here? Jared is here. And 71,000 other people. That's right. This is, uh, this is the current phenomenon going on right now, and we just felt that... I've been on this all day. I've been obsessed with it. It's just so... It's so fascinating. I'm just introduced to it. Yeah, see, um, I was trying to explain it to him earlier. Um, for those of you who don't know, what's basically happening is the website Twitch is a video streaming site specifically for people that do video games so you can do tournaments and stuff. I've never even heard of it. <laughs> yeah, or just Let's Plays in general. So someone was able to, I believe it's through an emulator, is every written command that's a valid input, such as A, B, up, down, left, right, start, that's what they're doing over there on the right. Yeah, as you can see, everyone going ridiculous over. It's not, I can't even follow it. Yeah. It's going so fast. That's because it started, when I was first watching this, it was at 40K, and now we're at 70,000 people. It's it's absolutely just like everyone, even people, I was talking to people earlier that don't even play video games or people don't even know what Twitch is. I've never heard of Twitch. And it's getting all this traffic, and it's a brilliant concept. It's, um, if to get, a, like, mildly philosophical, it's like the saying... I don't know the full saying, but it's along the lines of if you get enough monkeys with enough time and you give them typewriters, they'll eventually write Shakespeare. Is that Pokemon or Twitch? Well, I believe Twitch is uh, Shakespeare, right? And then the monkeys are us, and the typewriters is a Game Boy. <laughs> That's so brilliant. Will, yeah. So That's basically, brilliant. we'll eventually beat it. And for those who don't know, you can see the timer there. It's five days. Four hours, 26 minutes, 59 seconds. Yes, so just in time. So, <laughs> right now, I don't know if... I think, the, I think the, the trainer card actually came up. We have four badges already. That's How a, do we do that? And that's... Because you can look at the screen now. It looks like nonsense. It lo yeah, it's like we're at a very unimportant part of the game. But hopefully it'll get more important. Yeah, well, what's funny is that... Because, um, you know... Some people I know were, were looking into this and they don't get what's happening because they're like, it just looks like nonsense. How, you know, people are like, why, why would you do that? But the, the engaging thing about it is trying to get people, to, like all these people to work to, together. Yeah. But of course it's the internet, so it doesn't work as well, you know, it doesn't work the way you, you See, want it now to. I'm in an even more unique position. I've never played Pokemon Red or Blue. It's very true. I played I know Pokemon Yellow. Half the internet, actually like 90% of the internet wants to kill you now because you've never played the original Pokemon. Universe. I wanted to play it. I just, I was that family <laughs> yeah. who just, I, I wasn't that lucky. I know. I'm sorry, man. I'm very sorry. I played, what else? I played Gold. Yes. I played Ruby. Yeah, so you've, you're you still familiar with Pokemon. I am well-versed with, with the Pocket Monsters. I even know they're called Pocket Monsters. Yeah, it's the full name. So don't worry, he's not, he was just... He was I'm not as, a noob. He was, <laughs> he's not as fortunate. I'm just less fortunate. But here, since this is a Let's Play, we should be playing. We should be playing. So let's, uh, so basically, what do I... Do you want to do a command? I, yeah, what do I do? Just say... I, just, well, I feel like I should get B, because they're always... Yeah, because they're always clicking things and you can just tell me yeah right. they, i got them all right so where if, are we gonna pop so up my my username is camelange so if you watch the feed you, if you okay. have a good enough eye you might see camelange come oh, up oh man now i'm looking forward to re-watching the video <laughs> just to see it and just scouting it out because i'm not gonna find it now <laughs> there's like a 10 to 30 second delay i find i was able to screen cap myself once getting a command on there because i was very lucky i'll probably work it into this video somehow in post-production but basically yeah so see how they're just the, they're the, goofing around. The, it seems like they're goofing. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! It'll only let you send so many messages, messages at once, because Switch will be like, oh, you sent the exact same message. And so that prevents spammers. Yeah. That's brilliant. But you would, But the problem is, once you have 70k people all working in, spam becomes redundant. You know what I mean? Like, there just is... Everybody is spam. Yeah. We are spam, collectively. But, but you can see all these unique usernames. Look at all these, like... You don't see the same. You don't. See, Banana Ken. Who's Banana? Who's I just Banana, saw Banana who's Ken. Who's Banana Ken? That's really awesome. I don't know if it actually is Banana Ken or not, but I hope it is. Now, see, this is where I come in because I follow a lot of the fighting game scene very avidly. Okay. Banana Ken is a very well-known fighting game player. He's a fighting game player. Yeah. What does he play? Well, he do, plays a bunch of games. I think it were, I, I'm assuming. I don't know his full backstory, but I think he started from Street Fighter, considering his name is Ken. He's not a banana. <laughs> no, he's not a real All banana. Right. But I, I know he has been playing Blaze Blue lately, with and um, and well I, yeah and Persona he started from Persona I think from before playing Blaze Blue but I think he's originally from Street Fighter. So could we possibly so do like, that with Twitch? Like could the future be 
us playing video games like this on Twitch, but like with Street Fighter or what, what, what's what's the future? Well, you know, as I mentioned before, we did see we have fighting game tournaments hosted through Twitch. Like people will stream on Twitch and show, you know, that's how people get. Like we have the chat rooms, people are rooting for their favorite player. But what's so unique about this and why it's getting so much traffic to Twitch is normally Twitch is about watching people play, right? Of course. And, you know, there is some interaction between, say, you know, if a commentator has the chat open, they can respond to people. But usually there's, you know, freaking, you know, trolls and stuff. So it's hard to, like, get a real conversation going. So, but what's so beautiful about go left, this... Go left, go left, What's so brilliant about this is that there's an actual interaction with, with everyone. I'm trying to interact, but we're getting nowhere. I know. It's, I, I remember we've been in that little hoop yeah. there for, like, forever. The little, little nut. <laughs> so We're funny. in the Italy of Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> so I was I was in this earlier, and the hilarious thing is, there's um we have a Pokemon team Rattata who has been nicknamed uh, Dig Rat, and <laughs> because he has he's been taught the move Dig. Oh, of course. We, we somehow use the TM to teach Dig, and um, what Dig does it works very much like um like teleport. You te it teleports you. But in a cave. Yeah, but it works in buildings. So it's as well. like an escape rope. Oh, it, yeah. it works in buildings. Yeah, so they, it works like an escape rope. So they've accidentally activated Dig in the building oh. to teleport them back to the Pokemon. Classic center. Twitch. They picked up an escape rope and accidentally used the escape rope. And as you saw there, one of the Pokemon they even taught cut because in order to get through the game, they had to get they had to get the HM cut, teach it to a Pokemon, and then have that Pokemon cut a tree. Like they had to walk. It's like. And you sound like that sounds simple, but look at this. You see what's going on right now. No, we're stuck in the start menu. But yet we somehow managed to teach Pokemon Cut. And, and four badges. Yeah, and we've obtained four badges. See, now what's great about this is that it saves all the time. I have very <laughs> distinct <laughs> memories yeah. of sitting in the car. I remember I was on my way. I'm not even, I'm not shitting you. I was on my way to a bar mitzvah. I must have been That's very typical, seven yeah. years old. I, well, it's typical, of course. And I was <laughs> in the car, and we had gotten to the synagogue, and I was sitting in the back seat. And my dad says, come on, let's go. And I said, no, dad, I'm, I'm, I need to get to a save point. He goes, I don't care. Put the Game Boy away. Put the Pokey Garbage. He, pulled, he called it Pokey Garbage. Pokey Garbage. He called it Pokey Garbage, which offended me. It yeah, probably offends a lot of people now, but I was seven. I was like, I was like, dad, stop it. I grew up with Pokey Man a lot. They always oh. got it wrong. No, so he was like, put away the Pokey Garbage. I was like, dad, I can't save right now. But that's a great point about this. Yeah, it's like, they're always saving. I remember I was playing gold. <laughs> Yeah. And I never saved enough, but they're always saving. No, I games. definitely... That was the thing. There's Video games were very still new during that time, so parents didn't really understand the concept of a save point. <laughs> but once they kind of... But once we conditioned them, I remember my parents would eventually, instead of seeing, like, Once you stop, get to the next save Yeah, point, they'd be like, can, is, can you save? Now is now a good time? That's a good parent. Well, see, yeah, my parents were very understanding because I'm, I, I'm still like obsessed with video games. Your so. mom got it. She played yeah. Sonic. Yeah, my mom, my mom was, uh, she would play Sonic when she was pregnant with me. Which no is influence why, whatsoever. Which is why she, <laughs> which is why she believes led to me being obsessed with Sonic. Um, but it, I, mom my, ate, my mom ate a lot of cantaloupe. I don't like melons. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate them. Yeah. But I, I don't. I haven't love seen them. you eat a lot of cantaloupes. That That's because it hasn't been on sale. Yeah. You're also Jewish. If you're bringing, there's a that, you're bringing sale, that back can you up put again. Put some commands in there. Yeah. Let's, if let's there was a sale on melons, on. believe you me, I would buy melons. I'm trying to strategize because since there's a delay, I'm just going to say down because we want to go back to that. Because eventually we're going to want to go through that little hole again, back to the boot. Yeah. I think it's really funny that I saw Banana Ken amongst the midst of all that. I, I really hope it's back. I hope it was him. I really do. I have a list of people I'm waiting for to pop up in here. <laughs> Another <laughs> Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Yeah, he, pl he plays this shit. He plays it. I don't believe you. Me neither. Yeah, <laughs> good because you're it's pulling that right out of your asshole. <laughs> I don't even want to visualize it. pulling Woody Allen out of your asshole. Anything out of my asshole. What about specifically people? Specifically people. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. I think some fun things to note because there are some very key uh, things. I want to say the lore of this story. The lore of this story. The Twitch yes. Pokemon story. Yes, because from this ridiculous gameplay, we have been able to string together a narrative of the journey of our player, Red. We are all Red. You have a narrative? There's a narrative. Not me. Not me specifically. The group. We all have a narrative. Okay. And could, it, we... could it be pitched as a TV show? As a TV show? Most likely not. But it would make for an incredible web series. Okay. Like a webcomic. All right. Have, so I have the Reddit here open for Twitch Plays Pokemon. I love Reddit. As you can see, local mon ruins everything, playing off of The Simpsons local man ruins everything. That's funny. Yeah. And you're wondering Flareon, because that's something I want to talk about, actually. 
is I don't know. That's an Eevee, right? Yeah, yeah. You see, it's an, it's an, <laughs> see, it's, it's an Eevee evolution. You can't, you can't pull the shield over my eyes. You've probably seen the party at one point in the video too. Is they have a Flareon on the team, and for anyone that knows anything about Pokemon, you have to get. A, you know, this is something you probably don't know specifically about this game. Me. But the only way to get an Eevee in the original Pokemon game is there's a certain person. You gotta catch it. And yeah, no, you gotta no, catch you them all. You don't catch it. Oh fuck! We just left the fucking place again. <laughs> I know. All right, how do you it's, get it? At how least do you they didn't leave the whole building. Because there's another building within this town. You have to go to a certain floor and talk to a certain person to get the Eevee. I'm more concerned how you get Yeah, how do you get the Eevee? Yeah, so they manage to do, you have to talk to the guy and they'll give you the Eevee. So you have to That's talk it, to the right person. Give it to him? Well, you have to go through the whole building. So they were able to work as a, they all decided and worked as a team to go through the building and find the guy that gives you the Eevee. But that's the only Eevee in the game. So it's, it's you know what I mean? It's a rare thing. Hold but, on. But everyone's able to obtain one. I just, I just realized something. Okay. My, the way my brain train works, I, I don't want to explain how I got to this realization. Chug a chug a choo choo. And it's not because I have to go to the bathroom, but we never, that's never a need in this game. We are on a long ass journey, and not once does this guy stop to go to the bathroom. I think that's what's fun is in a lot, I've seen a lot of webcomic renditions of this already, and uh, people have given, like, read his own voice, where it's like he's trying to escape what we're telling him to do. <laughs> and, really? Yeah, it's a, there, it's pretty funny. There's one um, where someone was like, you sh uh, I'm not even talking about this specific. I'm talking about Pokemon in general. Pokemon. In not general. once have I seen a, a any Pokemon character go to the bathroom. The only video game that I know that had poop in it, like where they had the poop, was Digimon. Ironically, that enough, makes that sense. We talk about Digimon and Pokemon. Well, Digimon, you know, it's like the Mega Blocks of Pokemon. Exactly. You know? Come on. That's a good way to put it. The Mega Blocks. Yeah, me no one wants Mega Blocks. Pokemon. There's seventy thousand of us still playing Pokemon Red. But if we were playing or Blue, it's Digimon. If it was Digimon, there'd be like five people here <laughs> yeah. going like, I didn't know to do. Dad, Digimon. I did, I did like uh, Digimon growing up, but did not last nearly as well as Pokemon. No. Well, I mean, they sounded cool. They were digital monsters. Monsters. But so, these are pocket monsters. You yeah. Where they go. That's way cooler. Yeah. You can feel them. You know, they're real. Yeah. But <laughs> what? The digital ones, they're not... No, they can't. Well, I think in the show they could because they got into their world. It's a whole thing. It's I'm not well-versed in that at all. But to go back to Flareon, is not only did they acquire the Eevee through mm -hmm. those means... They had to go to another building. They had to get a and, different and, stone, right? Yeah, and they had to buy. They had to go to the store and go to the right desk that sells the stones. And actually buy the right thing. Yeah, so what they, if they bought the wrong things and then ran out of money and had to go get more money and go back? I don't think they would have, they would have given up, probably. I don't know if they would have all agreed to get the EV. How many at that people point. on here actually know what they're doing? I think I think there's a good amount of people here that grew up with this game and are like pushing to try to beat it. Cause we're Cause not I've, I've seen people post like plans of attack on here. Like, people, like, do this, like, like you know, people are trying to do it. Like, we've made it this far, you know? And so they, I mean, they they, they really get a Firestone. Why are the fuckers and, pressing start? That's what I want to know. Because they think they're funny. They Is think that they're, what they're doing? Are those the trolls? Because I, I don't I, need start unless I'm, yeah. I'm, like, not right now. Everyone's pretty much agreed. Not right now. Everyone's pretty much agreed that uh, start is worthless at this point, And everyone's just doing it just because you can't control the internet. I want to see a battle. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Oh, I've watched some battles and they're absolutely hilarious. Unfortunately, we're at this point in the game where you're not going to be seeing a battle, but they are very, very funny. I saw one where it was because they they'll accidentally switch between other Pokemon. They'll go to their items, and this is where another like lore comes into play. As the Helix, is there's a point in the game where you can get a either a Helix fossil uh -huh. or a Dome fossil. Dome fossil. And they got the Helix Fossil, and every time they would go to the, the menu screen, they accidentally click items, Helix Fossil would be like the first and one And what does the Helix up. Fossil actually do? You, it doesn't come into play until much later in the game, where you can resurrect it to become an Amistar. If you got the other one, it'd be Kabuto. Or Kabuto. What the fuck is that? They're, all, they're the fossil Pokemon. The Kabuto? Kabuto. Kabuto. The fucking plebeian. See, I'm not good at Kabuto. This is why I have to be here to address yes. the, the Pokemon information. But If you weren't here, I don't... I don't know. I don't think I'd be. I don't know what I would do. I don't think you'd even understand this because I when I Caputo. Ka Kabuto. It's with a B. Ka K Kabuto. Yeah. Kabuto. Then they Kabutops. This guy's been telling us to use the lift key. Where do we find the? Do we have the lift? Key? Yeah, we have. That's another. We set. have the lift. I don't know key. if we have. I don't think we have the lift. No, we don't. Well, have that's the lift gonna key. cost another day and a half. Yeah, so we have to find the lift key. But that's oh, why I'm so impressed that we were able to get a Firestone and e actually select it and choose Eevee and make the evolution happen. That's beyond me. You know what I think is interesting? Mm -hmm. Where did where did this start? Because we're at five days, four hours. That means we're four oh, hours. Oh, there's us. 
What? We I saw Cam Lynch come up. Really? Yeah, there's a really huge delay on it, but I saw it. That's That's got to be like a minute worth of delay. Yeah. Because before when it was at 40k, it was about 30 seconds, but I think now it's probably like a full minute of delay. This is bananas. Yeah. Um, well, I guess, I guess I really, I want to come back to this, but at like a point where we're more active. Yeah. Because I, th I don't know how long, because this is by far, I think, one of the longest. There was the ledge challenge where we, we were stuck at a ledge. And that, but see how the items can keep coming up? Yeah. That's where the Helix Fossil came to play, where every time you clicked it, you'd be like, red, now's not the time to use this. So it'd be the joke is during a battle, they keep ma mashing that. I see, there's the four badges. They, Holy shit. They keep mashing the item Helix Fossil, but now's not the time to use it. In order to be confused what to do, it's like, we must consult the Helix. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is, like, all hail the Helix. And there's the false prophets, like the dome fossil. And everyone believes that Flareon is a false prophet that's trying to lead us astray and from the error. Helix. Yes. Because we've already lost our two, the first Pokemon that we've, we've lost our starter, Charmeleon, to the, to False Prophets, and we lost our Ratatata, who is nicknamed Jay Leno, because its full name is J in jumble letters, <laughs> and then Charmeleon, Jay Leno! And, and then Charmeleon was, at, um, <laughs> at, was Abby, Abby K. That's not as funny as Jay Leno. If no. they had Jay Leno and Conan. Oh, and then Dux is on the team, the Farfetch'd, who you have to trade with a character in the game. You have to catch a Spearow, trade a Spearow to a specific character in the game, and they give you a Farfetch'd. So they we managed manage to do all these yeah. things. Yeah. Well, I'm now saying. that I'm well-versed, yeah. and I know how Twitch works, and I know how things are, are working. We've covered the majority of what you need to know about where we're at right now in the game. I'm looking forward to getting that fifth badge, Cameron. I agree. I'm looking forward to getting... No, dude... But besides even the fifth badge, I'm looking forward to getting the fucking lift key and then get, go, getting Giovanni and getting the fuck out of there. I think we get the master ball in here too once you beat Giovanni. Oh shit! There's a lot that happens in this building, which is why it's such a we're at such an impasse here trying to get to advance because it's a very key part of the game. Well, I and think it's very involved, which is why it's hard to keep all this communication and collaboration. Of course. Well, tune in for the next episode, probably on day six. Where oh my god, we went down the stairs. Yeah. We've been here a few times. This is a wonderful cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. This is the best cliffhanger.